Hey y'all, I'm Chris and this is Is It Worth It Y'all? And today we're gonna show you what to do with that bag of spinach that you bought a week ago and you had good intentions of using it in some sort of recipe and guess what? You still haven't used it and it's getting a little weird. Well, stick around, I'll show you what I use it for. I will leave a link in the description below just so you guys know uh, the recipe that I use at the allrecipe.com recipe. So it calls for frozen spinach, but guess what? I don't have frozen spinach. And I have almost really bad, weird spinach. So we're gonna saute this and drain the liquid out of it. Same difference, just I'll show you that process in a minute. We're gonna need half of this mozzarella cheese, which I'll probably use all of it, because why not? Artichoke hearts, cream cheese, mayonnaise, Parmesan cheese, basil, garlic, salt, pepper. It does call for Romano cheese, but I don't have like the, I usually get the Aldi brand that's blended already. I don't have that, so we're just gonna double up on the Parmesan cheese. All right, on to getting the spinach ready to be put in the dip. I love this dip, y'all. Okay, we've got a couple tablespoons of olive oil in the pan. We're on high heat blazing, getting that hot. And I'm gonna do this in real time, y'all, because I want you to see how teeny weeny this little pile is gonna get. This is just one of those regular bags that you get, all these Schnooks, uh, Walmart, wherever you live, whatever your store is, Kroger, Randall's. And we're gonna, we're gonna cook this, we're gonna fry it heat it up. I'm going to wilt it. That's basically what I'm going to do. We're going to draw some of this liquid out. So this whole thing is going in here. I've already picked out all the cruddy spots. There were a couple of uh, really bad spots in here. So I already got all that out because we don't want to, we don't want to use that because this, like I said, Ooh, um, this is one of those bags that you had every good intention of doing something with, and guess what? Here we are turning it into something, because did I have a man overboard? Yes, already? Got him. Um, you were going to do something with it, and you just didn't. So, we're going to wilt this down. And like I said, we're going to do this in real time, because I want you to see how, how much of this shrinks. And it doesn't take very long, either. You can already see it starting to wilt. And this is, like I said, it's just spinach and oil. Are we going down yet? Oh yeah, we're, we're below the pan already. This only takes a couple minutes. I also, I, I also like this recipe because it, I mean, it does have a few ingredients but it's quite simple and, and it's really easy to do. And you can just serve it hot. You can microwave it. You can bake it off. I mean, it tastes good the next day. We eat it with like pita bread or chips or crackers, you name it. It's just good. So now when you use the, um, when you use the frozen spinach like the recipe calls for, you're gonna wanna drain that uh, spinach really, really good because it has spinach has a ton of water in it. And when you freeze it, you break all of those cells in the leaves and it causes all that water to come off. I think I threw another one on the floor or on the counter. And so same way with here, we're gonna, we're gonna cook this down and Try to get as much liquid out of it before we make the dip. But see, look, we can already see the bottom of the pan. See how little spinach this really is? I mean, it's like disappearing in front of our eyes. Some of these leaves are a little bit big, so I may even, when I pull this out of the pan, put a knife to it a little bit. Look at that. Look how tiny that got. And what, I've been here three and a half minutes, start to finish. Okay, that's it. Spinach is cooked. Love it. Time to assemble. We have gathered all of the ingredients outside of the mozzarella cheese, the spinach, and the artichoke. These two ingredients go in a little bit later, and I want you to see this cooked spinach. Look at all the, look at all the liquid coming off on it already. Look, we gotta get rid of that so it doesn't ruin our 
our batch. So we are going to dice this up a little bit and then I'm gonna get a cheesecloth and we're gonna strain this out. Used a, I just used a regular dish towel. Here's my dish towel. Just used a dish towel and squeezed out the spinach. So that little teeny weeny ball of spinach was that big old bag we started with. All right, we opened up the jar and, ooh, there we go. All right, we opened up the jar of artichoke hearts and we just ran a knife through them to get them nice and small. Now we're gonna, we're gonna mix. I'll bring you back whenever we've got it layered in the pan and we're getting ready to put it in the oven. So we've layered these into two of our containers. It tastes really good. Very shallow. We like, we like it crispier. We've learned that we don't like to fill it up all the way and then do it. Um, next, we're gonna line, uh, put some mozzarella cheese on top, bake it off, and we'll show you what it looks like when it's time to taste test. And I'm sure by that time, I'll have a taste tester home and he'll be happy to share his thoughts. So this is about, I wanna say five and a half minutes in my microwave. I stirred it at about the four minute mark. It turned out fantastic and I didn't have to heat up my oven. And as you can see, I've taste tested it from here to here and I can't quit eating it. So tastes just like it does normally coming out of the, out of the um, oven, but I just didn't feel like turning the oven on this time. And I'm gonna sneak you in a preview of what we're having for dinner tonight. We are having taco night. Now that is coleslaw using our fermented coleslaw because there's the hamburger meat. I decided I wanted fish tacos. So we're gonna put the coleslaw on the fish tacos and dress it that way. I am excited. Greg needs to hurry up and get here. You ready? Ready. Oh, don't just oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have me something, I just eat it. Verdict. Spinach artichoke dip. Mm -hmm. I just microwaved it. Tastes fine? Tastes fine. I thought I was trying to come up with something to say about the tortilla chip. <laughs> no. Well, that's all we have. <laughs> no, it, it, everything's fine. I'm like, it tastes, it tastes like a soft shell taco with spinach artichoke. Dip. Okay. Mmm. Good. There you have it, folks. It's a winner. So you can do it in the microwave and everybody's going to like it. So like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for sticking with us. And until we see you on the next video, bye y'all.